Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to load saved data back into our form. If you're working on small forms like user registration or login, you probably don't have a need to load saved data. However, when you deal with forms that are broken into sections with several fields, you often want to allow the user to save their progress, come back at a later time and continue filling their form. In this scenario, apart from rendering the form, we also need to fetch the saved data and fill those values into our form. Let's understand how to do that. One point to mention though, is that we are not really going to implement saving the form data or loading the form data from an API. Instead, we are going to mock the loading of data as if it were to come from a database through an API. All right, let's go over this step by step. First step, let's define the saved data object. This has to be of the same structure as the initial values object. So I'm going to make a copy of the initial values object and make the changes. Copy and paste it. The constant name, I'm going to call it saved values. Then I'm going to set name to Vishwas, email to v at example.com, channel to code evolution, comments to welcome to Formic, and finally address 221B Baker Street. Let's just assume this is the user's progress with our YouTube form. For our second step, we are going to add a button to load this saved data. So if I scroll down to the bottom, there are a lot of buttons at the moment. So I'm going to comment out everything except the submit button. And just above the submit button, I'm going to add another button. button the text is going to be load saved data and type is going to be button. Now what we want to do is on click of this button, change Formic from reading initial values to reading saved values. To do this, let's create a state variable and update that. So for step three, import use state from React and declare a new state variable with an initial value of null. So within the YouTube form component, use state, the variable is called form values, the setter function is called set form values, and the initial value is null. Now on click of this load saved data button, we're going to set the form values state variable to the saved values. Finally, for step number four, we're going to change the value for the initial values prop on the formic component. It is now going to be initial values is equal to form values or initial values. And the final piece to our puzzle is adding the enable reinitialize prop on the formic component. This prop is really important because it decides whether your form can change initial values after the form has been initialized once. All right, let's save this and head to the browser to test it out. On page load, you can see that we have just Vishwas as the initial value for the name field. Everything else is empty. This is a reflection of the initial values object right here. Now, at the bottom, I'm going to click on Load Saved Data button. If we now take a look at the fields, we have the saved values object showing up in the form. We have name, Vishwas, email, v at example.com, channel code evolution, comments, and of course, the address. All the five fields have a different set of values. We have successfully loaded data into our YouTube form. 
Let me go over the steps one more time. First, we created the saved values object, which is mocking data that would be received from an API. Then we add a button at the bottom to mimic the fetch action of an API. We created a state variable initialized to null and on click of this button, we populate that state variable with the saved values object. We then inform Formic to use the saved values if it is present and if it is not present, use the initial values. Finally, we tell Formic to enable reinitialization using a prop. This is how you load saved data into a Formic form. Now the scenario we have here is that of when a form has already been loaded and then the user manually loads in saved data on a button click. A possible use case is if there is a previously filled form and you want to allow the user to load that data into a new application form. That would make the user experience much better. A second scenario, which is much simpler scenario, would be to fetch a select dropdown values from an API. In that case, you definitely could show a loading indicator till your API call is done. And once the API call is done, update the state variable with the response. And only after that is done, render the formic component. Again, like I've been mentioning in almost every video, your implementation might be slightly different based on your project requirements. But that is pretty much about loading saved data in Formic. Updating initial values and making use of the enable reinitialize prop is the two main things you have to focus on. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.